Hello again, ladies. This is Sherry again. Um, I needed to clarify some things about cold capping. Um, this is how I wear my hair. I had my infusion today. I've been cold capping. I had my infusion today at, it started at about 10.30. And I did pre-cold capping 30 minutes. I did cold capping an hour and a half. This is all Paxman cold caps at the hospital. And then I did an hour and a half of post cold capping at the hospital. Um, pulled over and put a cap on my head, leaving the hospital. They had um, uh, dry ice. And came home and cold capped for another hour and a half, took a break, cold cap, took a break for about 30 minutes, felt my head getting hot, put on another cap from the freezer, but not the, um, not the dry ice this time because the dry ice takes too long to cool down. That dry ice will come out of there at a negative 50 and that's not good. You can't put that on your head. Negative 58, sometimes you can, you got to wait for that to cool down because I, I'm not waiting for this to cool down. That means that my head is getting hot at the top. That means chemo is trying to come up there. So I go to the freezer and I grab a bag. Um, needing to clarify some things I said on, on one of my videos. Um, Europe. They have not been capping for 10 years. Europe has been capping for two decades, 20 years. So we're a little bit behind, ladies. Come on now. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to look different. I'm just telling my journey. Every woman has their journey. I want to tell mine. Thank you. I get a lot of people that's inboxing me on this app that I am on. This breast cancer awareness app that I'm on. Oh, and another thing, ladies. You see where my part is? This is this this is uh this is second day, post second day. I lost none of my hair, my hair side. You don't go into your scalp. Do not ever touch this part right here. Don't touch it. Don't touch the crown. Don't touch the front. Period. I keep it back, and when I go in, I do this and I do this to here. The rest is back. You want that? See, this is what you don't know. Mm. I'm writing a book, ladies. You got to get this book. My publisher said that he can have it out in three months. Because you, I want my goal. Since I've been diagnosed, day one, I've researched. I've been researching. I think this will be, I'll be, my research will take me nine months. But my goal is to, and this is in my book. My, and I'm a school teacher. I teach in Maryland, in Prince George's County Public Schools. No, I'm just going to say Maryland. Ooh, too late. But anyway, you guys are doing it right. But I have secrets. I have a lot of secrets and I'm writing it in this pamphlet, book, pamphlet, whatever. It's going to be practically free. My goal is to help get women Paxman rentals. The cap is 500 to rent. You don't have to rent it there. You can do the exact same thing, just um, dry ice there at the hospital. You don't have to use their $2,200 machine. But my goal is to raise enough money so that women who want to have a better quality of life you can still take I have you can still see that I have cancer. I have no hair on my arms and legs. Everything's gone. But my brows and my lashes are all there. I put ice here. You know, not that long, just maybe 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes at a time. That's it. For an hour periodically. But this will look dry and brittle and look like it'll practically break. Don't touch it while it's in the stage. Leave it here. Ladies, don't wash it. I don't care if you're Caucasian, African American, got an afro, whatever. You're gonna need to get if you especially if you got an afro, you're gonna get that, you're gonna need to get that to lay flat. Or you just might as well just maybe just cut. I don't know. 
cut short. But that it this don't pull it all back. This needs to be flat. That's a secret that I'm giving you from my book. I contacted a publisher. I said, there's a market for this. These girls are inboxing me personal. They are ashamed to say that they are, that they're saying they're vain. And I'm saying, you are not vain. It's about the quality of life. You are not vain. Not at all. This is about the quality of your life. And look at how I'm feeling on my second round of chemo, no side effects, day one. But this is day one. Maybe I should get back on here tomorrow. <laughs> but this is the exact same thing I did in my first regimen. You have to cap before your first infusion or it will not work. Guaranteed. That's my second secret from my book. If you do not cap before you begin your very first infusion, it will not work. Point blank, period. I'm trying to get women now. I'm trying to reach them now to save their hair now. You do not have to lose your hair, ladies. I mean, I mean, I would have if I, you know, if it was a, if, if that would have happened. But I, I cracked the case. I, I, I solved the cure. But it's not one thing. It's several things. It's several things, ladies. So, uh, I'm giving a lot of my secrets out. Now I'm giving them out on YouTube. <laughs> I was giving them out, uh, but you, I want you, ladies, to start now. If you're, if you're, if you had a chemo diagnosis three months in advance, start saving your money. Get a to-do list. Amazon. Get all the clothes. You're gonna be an ice queen princess. For three to six months. And I'm writing a book. Look, no chemo brain. She's sitting here writing a book. She ain't no chemo brain. She is sitting. Do not. This is dry. I feel like it's going to break if I touch it. Break. My scalp was frozen to a negative 32 degrees. Which means the chemo did not reach my brain. I came home and cold capped some more. So that's the key, ladies. None of my hair has fallen out. Don't touch this. My hair will stay like this while I'm home until I go to the hairdresser. This is Monday. I had my, my infusion today. Today's Monday. I have zero symptoms. I even left and ate. I took three of these pills, though, from Amazon. I'm going to tell you about that. I've been put, posting that, too. Then my beautiful daughter-in-law told me about i'm gonna think i'll give that in my next video but um i'm happy i'm chipper i'm not one of these girls who are like oh i'm gonna chemo do 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 sad i'm so sad honey i'm a first grade teacher i was bouncing up and down in the classroom i have one week on and one week off i am singing and laughing and dancing in my first grade classroom and I'm feeling good today. Day one, I left chemo. And me and my boyfriend went and got. A, oh, he's an angel. Heaven sent. Every chemo, he's there with me. Everyone, lugging it. <laughs> lugging those cold caps, girl. <laughs> but anyway, um, I left chemo. And I still had my, I don't know why I still have my taste buds. I got a junior bacon cheeseburger with everything and fries. I ate the whole cheeseburger and half of the fries. Gave him the rest. <laughs> but anyway, um, again, don't touch this. Ladies, please buy a 100 Last tip. Last secret. 100% silk scarf on Amazon. Be a Prime member. This was only a few 100% silk. 100 This is like $12, $13, $14. 100% silk. I might have to post the kind of brand and all that kind of thing y'all like. But uh, this, okay. Now, I'm going to show you, with this out the way, how I put it on my head. So, it is a big square. Uh-oh. Let me adjust my phone. 
I've never ever in my whole life made a video on YouTube, but this has inspired me. I cracked a secret and I'm going to share with you ladies on how not to lose your hair during chemo. That's the title of my book too. It'll be out in April. That's the goal. But I'm still going to show y'all that my hair is here. Only a few people I've seen do it right. Three. But they didn't give their secrets. I stay like this all day, all night, for all week. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm 50. I just turned 50 Christmas Day. I'm an angel. <laughs> so I dealt with my son's wedding, November 23rd. Chemo diagnosis. This is all in 2019. Chemo diagnosis, July. So I opted for surgery first because the uh, funeral was in November. And then chemo last. Because I didn't want to look different at um, their funeral. So I had funeral. I mean, that funeral, ooh, wedding. My mom's funeral was 16th. Okay, I was talking about her earlier. That's fine. <laughs> but their wedding. So wedding diagnosis. Turn 50. Haven't seen my parents since September. So I'm on a menopausal. And what was the other one? Turn 50. Haven't seen my pregnancy since September. Menopausal and breast cancer all in the same year. And look at me, I'm happy and I'm smiling. Crazy, right? <laughs> but again, that part should be center, not going back at all, right here. Feel with right here. You just, you don't want that part to go all the way back. No, you don't want that. That stress on your hair, that stress there. You only want to go right, gentle here like this. When you go to the hairdresser on Saturday, Wear your mask for a few minutes or forever if you want to. It don't matter. She's going to put you on in a cool setting. She's going to wash you just say, no tugging, no pulling. Put it on. It's not all bad. No tugging, no pulling. Use, um, what is it? Um, I have a lot of notes because I'm writing a book. No parabens and all that. They have it. She pulled it out before, when I told her I was about to start chemo. She said, I already have that. So they have the shampoo with the no parabens and all that kind of thing in it. They have that special shampoo there. Um, this is what I do. I do my chemo on a Monday. And I keep my hair like this all during the week. I'm not working this week. And then I get my hair washed on Saturday. Well, all the water is just pulling it back. And she's gentle. Gentle. No pulling, no tugging. And she just put it back in a bun. And then I went home and I took out some of that grease she put in there. Ladies, you don't want grease on your hair. You don't want grease on your hair. You want to put a dime size and just just and lay it down, lay it down, lay it down in the pony. Not while it's like this. When you get your ponytail. I believe it was Sunday. I was able to dry my hair. Your head is back cold again. It's cold. I freaking blow dry my hair on Saturday. Hot. I'm crazy. I can show you the pictures to prove it. <laughs> my hair was strong. It's not strong anymore because I had a chemo today. I ain't putting no heat to this hair. Ladies, don't put no heat to your hair until your scalp is cool, cold, not getting hot for days. It would be on a Sunday. Okay? If you had your chemo on a Monday. So that's how many days after. Girls have been putting um, colors in their hair. You've heard that. But they don't tell you when they do it. And the science behind it. I'm going to give you the science behind it. He, I told him I can write this book in, in three months. I'm writing this book because a girlfriend of mine whose name I want to say. She's also an author. She wrote a children's book about, you know, it was a black family with uh, Thanksgiving. She'll know who I am. She'll know who I'm talking about. But uh, her name is Gwen. I'm just going to call her Gwen for now. And um, she would always come to me, sure, you're so smart. You're so smart, whatever. You're so smart. Why don't you write a book? I want you to write a book. I can help you get it published. Write a book. But she gave me the topic. 